we go then. They line up, the boys in blue, Skinny Atlas facing the south going towards Miami and the uh, boys in white, can't be checked white, towards Orlando and this young man will be instrumental in that uh, crusade as we watch young Polotto Cambiasso getting off to a very good start and just leaves it behind and just waltzed through that uh, Skinny Atlas uh, defence as if there was nobody home. They regain or retain possession. This time it's uh, Colombres, a little under the next shot there into the open space. He's going to play that one to himself. In comes a bit of traffic there from Mariano Obregon. The two number threes there into the far corner. Nice little centre shot to go, but that just went wide. So as you can see, Palm Beach Jaguine. I'm a little surprised you lined up. Sometime throughout this game, we're going to talk to. Uh, Leroy Brown, my friend who's uh, down in Kingston. We've got a live satellite link this afternoon to Jamaica Kingston. So maybe we'll get a little bit of Leroy Brown. Yeah, we'll go back to the action. That's Kenny Atlas. Nice little run on the far side. Atlas now on the left. Leroy Brown on the top. Leroy Brown on the top. Leroy Brown on the top. On that back dive. I'm trying to make the most of this. Very quick counter attack to play here from Mark B. Jenkwine. That's a quick, quick uh, turn around here, taking it all the way up from his own back line. And he gets a little bit of traffic there, did uh, Secundo Molos from uh, Cesar Jimenez. Cassette now. We'll turn this around. Costi Cassette. He's going Atlas. Cheeky little number, and he's found a little gap, and that'll be taken, no mistake. Scott. Was that Scott? Yep. Scott Swirling. Well, we just uh, we just realised, even though we didn't have uh, Scott out here earlier on opening up uh, or warming up his pony, that clearly is not Scott. That young man with the number four is, well, I'd say half his size. And that's a nice little quick return. And this time, who was that trainer number two? Was it? Well, Luz just in there, the gentlemen. It is Santino Zeda who is uh, playing. Well, that is quite odd because we did see. Uh, Got out here earlier on. He's okay. And, uh, we're going to go back to the action. Let's say one apiece. Thank you nicely here by Secundo Molo. Secundo Molo, and he heard the call coming in from Porotto. Cambiaso, he's straight on this one. Just a little tap, and that's uh, a lovely little goal, ladies and gentlemen. I can say. She's here. Here we go. Ball's back in play. Picked up this time by. And Obregon. Obregon has a little look up the front. Marty. Marty Greg might be uh, anticipating a pass here. Here it comes. And that definitely has Marty Greg's name on it. He's going to have to run and chase this one. Either play a little backhand to keep it in play. It's exactly what he's done. But he's given it to the opposition and that'll be picked up by Colombres. Gringo Colombres there, the man with the, uh, the red helmet, just to make life a little bit easier for you. And once again, Palm Beach Equine. On the attack, taken off from there by Obregon. He's going to be instrumental here this afternoon. He's already she seems to be transpiring. Costi Cassette and Marianne Obregon for Skinny Atlas. Strategy and very much be to retain and regain possession as much as possible. Let the opponent come. Now it's a bit of trickery there. Now he tucks in behind. Cassette right behind there. Obregon. Send the ball up to the front door, looking for Cesar Jimenez. On beach, once again shutting it down nice. Columbus gets a little piece of it on the back line. He will send that up the field. Has to have another go at it. These are the counter-offensive players. We saw that already earlier. Tried to pick it up there on the near side. Merlos, he, he gets a bit of help. And a nice little pass coming from Lingo Columbus. He sends it nicely. Columbus will finish this one himself, I'm pretty sure. Starting to run away with it. Everyone now scored except Segundo Merlos and Anabi Alparoto. Cambiasso, he'll be looking for a second, but I think there was a right away infringement. Obregon had already a stab on where just now. As I said, uh, Obregon got foul. He'll take the uh, from the spot himself. 
He's lost in number, but that will just stay in play. Nicely done, he's found Costi, but Costi's also been met by Obregon. Segundo Merlos down the field and Obregon is back there wanting to maybe finish off what's been a great opening chuck of this one goes over the back line which I think it will with five seconds left to play Obregon Here we go ladies and gentlemen Just heard a cracky job there from Sue I'm probably being in the jungle but I'll come back to that at half time Let's go back to the action on their target, like you know, Father O'Donnelly. Ball's back in play, ladies and gentlemen. A cracking start in that opening chucker, chucker from Palm Beach, Equine, Gring and Columbus. Finishing there with a nice little touch right at the end, putting his team into a very comfortable position, leading by four goals to one. Oh, Cambiasso, I think, on the back line, unless it already got over. It had already. Back in play. Very focused. Well, the Yasso was there. Nice taken, nicely taken. First touch on the near side. Slightly overcooked it a little bit, but there's a man coming down the line. Playing with the number one, Segundo Muros. Clearly, the umpires deemed no danger, so they're now play to continue. The Beach have it once again. Around the outside he goes, the youngster, Santino Zeda. Has it taken off him? Nice little open backhand with a shot to goal. He turns. Well, that was, I suppose, inevitable. He taken from the spot in favour of Blue. Gets a bit of support. In comes Costi Cassette. And then a little helping hand to uh, Mariano Obregon as he gets the ball over the halfway line. But the Bonotto will send it back. Turn first. Palm Beach had a choice of two players there to choose from. And Obregon sends it back the way it came. Looking for his number one for Gundo Merlos. Oh, Costa Cassette having to uh, do quite a little bit of work, having to come back now deep into his own half to pick up that ball. He's got Palm Beach Equine players all over him. Cut shot, unintended, I'm sure, but Toscanian just have it back. Using the sideboard to his advantage. Nice little play here from Obregon. Obregon. Oh! Around the outside there from Colombo. Colombo sends it back down the field. Nicely taken first touch there over the halfway line. Secundo Merlos. Cambiasa clearing the way, giving Secundo all the space he needs. Good play there also from defence, from uh, as you can see. Taking out the number two, the danger man, Costi Cassette. The man's only scored two so far, and I don't know why we have a whistle, but we do. I couldn't really quite work out why that whistle came. There was so much space that had been created for Secundo Molos. Don't you see there are Porto Cambiasso? So why they had that little interruption, I'll try and find out from one of the umpires. Here we go then, back to the action. Right here now. touch as he takes it over the halfway line, Jimenez in hot pursuit, now here comes the approach shot from Young, 
Bon Otto Cabiasso, he keeps his cool, and look how easy he makes it to now. That definitely is worth a round of applause where I come from. Beautifully taken. Oh. It doesn't really matter what level you're looking for. The player can take that ball, find the gap. Obviously, he needs his teammates to uh, clear the way for him. Now he's going to let have a go. Six goals to two. Second chuck up. Here we go then, third chuckle ladies and gentlemen, six goals to three still, a comfortable little position here for Palm Beach Equine to be in. Sends a nice ball up to the front door. A bit too wide, he's going to have to chase this one. There's the backhand and opener. Tearing apart the defence here from Skinny Atlas with a, a clear passage straight down the centre. Open sesame, that's exactly how they've teed this one up. Nicely played once again here from Barnby Jackwine. And that young man. Just go to Gunnar Molos. We'll pick this one up. Cabiasso tucking it nicely behind. Already has a look over his shoulder. Three steps ahead of what he's about to do. Just allow Columbus to overtake him to go up front. And that's exactly what I mean with oversight or overview. This is very good play here from Palm Beach Equine as a team, as a collective. Putting the pressure on, and that could be what well, it nearly did go in. That could have been number eight. Very important, of course, in a game of polo, not to just have, ideally, eyes on the back of your head, but definitely use the ones in the front of your head by turning around, looking around, and you notice some of these, some of these very, very good and experienced players, that's what they do. They spend a lot of time just looking around, anticipating where that next play could come from, where that traffic could come from. And also, like a game of chess, thinking about two or three steps ahead. Now, this is one step with a nice little pass. Oh, 
Boosted his confidence no end. And that will hopefully manifest itself amongst the rest of the team players there from Skinny Atlas who uh, are far from uh, giving up on this one. Obregon working very hard again and all of a sudden catching them on the back foot. Marty Gregg at the front door. This is what he's been waiting for. Obregon in succession gets another one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Great to have so many of you with us. And uh, it's got a little bit quiet there. The uh, in the Atlas uh, fan, fan brigade that have come all the way from upstate. He's already got three to his name in this game. Penalty two, undefended, as you can see. Straight down the centre, no mistake. Team off to a cranky start in this. Second up with the fourth chucker. Six and a half minutes left to play, of course, plenty of time. And ball is back in play and again this time. Segundo Merlos getting the better of that throw in. Passing the catch offensive very quickly. A chance possibly here for. I was going to say for the man with the, uh, the one on his shirt. Gone on risk gets things underway once again. Oh, that must have gone. What? That went wide, Trace. Come over the halfway line. Put up the Caviasso.
straight off there between the two number fours. Jimenez picked it up nicely on the near side. So close. And once again, Obregon will turn it around. On the halfway line. Oh, unlucky there for Costi Cassette. Mers will come onto the straightaway. Sends it back up the field, looking for his number four. Zeller is at the front door waiting. Cassette. That's just right for him. Still Cassette, surrounded by three players there. Straight away they're on him. Oh, he's done well. Playing the ball into the open space, but just uh, three players is probably just too, too many. Colombo well, sends it back down the field. Looking for Young. Set up. Back in the fence. He's there, just waiting. Take the tension there up. He reaches. The Columbus Gringo was uh, just a hand and onside to pick up that ball. Little bump. Cassette turns on the inside and Perotto will just say, okay, I'll leave you two to it. Perotto outplayed nicely. Still Perotto Cambiasso. Opens up that defense once again. This time he's with a stumble. And Obregon sticking stick in his way. Columbus now on the back foot. And that's a run maybe if he can just outrun them. But he's got to get past two defending players. Obregon. Couldn't pick it up. Cassette a little bit too far behind to pick up that loose ball. Columbus back into the open space. Cassette. This is a big chance here for Skinny Atlas if they can make the most of this. Cassette deflects. Bounces. Trying to get a shot off there. It wasn't to be Columbus and he sends Cambiasso, out on his way, he's got to get past Marty Craig, sent back. Plenty of time here for Columbus to pick it up and turn it. Moment, he had to throw a man down. From the center, 5B, Skinny Atlas. It's called. Obregon. Obregon, I've got to rescore three. Last one, an absolute cracking goal. Goes for the long distance shot. Oh, it's still running. Now, we'll advise to chase that. And again, he comes. Obregon wanted to pick up. He did well, just on the rebound. Just to go, six goals to nine. We're in the penultimate fifth chucker. Skinny Atlas. Still in with a more than just a big chance here. Gotta get a grip. Now part me check one, especially when they start to pulling those defenders wide apart to create big opportunities as they've done throughout this game. Columbus.
Mac. Cesar, Cesar, round the outside, the two number fours. And Dino Zeda. Trying to keep up with that pony there from uh, Cesar Jimenez. Jimenez opens the shot, he slightly topped it. A bit of cassette was going to be there, but uh, this young man, Porotto Cambiaso, got there between. Again, you can see him looking over his back shoulder, just having a look. Anticipating it, he ran it, he saw it, he picked it up, has all the space he needs. Zeda clearing away for him. There's a whistle. This. Of course it is, ladies and gentlemen. So Run it all the way up the field. There's the pass he's found. 
Cesar Jimenez, but he's up again. A very talented young man. It's a good second shot here. Cesar Jimenez, a skinny man. We're going to like this one, my friend. Woohoo! Oh, young man but believe me he's there ever present young Poroto Cambiaso controversial little under the neck belly super millionaires deluxe shot I think that was set this is Mallet down controls the ball there's the pass now then there's a little duel with Colombres there from 
Pronto cambiazo. Another whistle. Here we go, it's getting Atlas. Just to chase it to the halfway line. Be nice to see Marty Gray get uh, his name on the score sheet. Well done boys, Martin Gray scoring a nice little goal at the end there. So it's uh, 